Hey, what's up guys? Brekix back again. Got a new sneaker product review for you guys. So uh, let's get right into it. So this is a Mayor and Flood uh, collaboration. I have no idea what Mayor does, but he is a huge sneakerhead and um, really crazy about his Air Forces. And so he created this bag and check out the quality on the leather. It's just amazing. Uh, the main selling feature of this bag is that it has three neoprene inserts inside of the bag for you to put your sneakers in if you like to travel a lot and you're a huge sneakerhead definitely bring three pairs of your favorite sneakers to switch it up in the rotation um, you can also put clothing toiletries whatever you want to put in the neoprene inserts it doesn't have to be sneakers so now i'm going to show you how the bag works uh, it's really a really nice bag you got the straps when you hold it by hand or you can do it by the shoulder it's got leather and mesh on it so basically you unzip it and then you see your three neoprene uh, inserts so it's actually really spacious and you can throw your clothing your jeans t-shirt whatever to match your sneakers i wish there was a compartment on the inside like as like a zipper so i tried this out by throwing on my kobe 8 pythons in there fit perfectly low cut shoes is not a problem at all it's uh the high cut shoes that give you a little bit of trouble i'll show you guys in a sec so here's another pair of low cut sneakers the flat knit ones put them in no problem at all really easy it's like putting it in a shoe box you gotta put it upwards or sideways upwards works with high cuts a little bit better or even mid cuts low cuts work the best as you put it uh, in the shoe box so now let's try it with some high cuts some air Jordan ones so as you can see here I was struggling a little bit with my first try putting a high cut shoe in the bag I'm pretty sure the neoprene compartment stretches a little bit over time and you also get better at it as you uh, know how much the neoprene bag stretches and uh, you'll get better at placing the shoe in the right position as well before you zip it. Uh, I'll also show you guys, you gotta put, if you're gonna do an upward position shoe, you gotta put that one in first and then the sideways, uh, put the other shoe sideways. So here we go, properly zipped. So I'll, sh I'll show you in the next one, it's another high cut shoe, which works really well. So my third compartment, I'm gonna try to put in the black toe ones. This time, I, I think I did a little bit better. Had a better time stretching the neoprene compartment. And uh, it's really easy this time around to zip it right up. Sometimes I'm really afraid to like break the zipper, so it's better to take care of it. Now I'm done. You still got a ton of space for other stuff. You can carry it on to play like that. Really nice leather straps again. Really nice quality bag. Look on the other side, zip it right back up, and there you go. That's pretty much it, guys. And this is actually a really nice bag, but at seventy dollars, I thought that was a little expensive. I actually uh, had a forty percent off coupon when uh, Christmas came along, so I got this for really cheap, and uh, I was really happy about it, especially with such a nice quality leather bag. So since I haven't actually used the bag yet, I'm just gonna give my fr first impressions of the bag. Uh, first of all, I guess the benefits, it's a really nice qual quality bag. Seems really durable, the leather quality is very nice. You rarely see this kind of leather quality anymore. It's a really big bag. Well, it depends on a consumer whether you need a big bag or a small bag. But if you're traveling a lot, this is a really good bag. It's really spacious. You can also put other things other than sneakers in the neoprene uh, compartments. I guess you don't have to be a sneakerhead to own this bag and uh it's also pretty lightweight it's not that heavy at all and uh and of course if you're a sneak herd go for it this is an awesome bag and uh that's pretty much it guys i'll catch you later peace